Today, we're gonna create our own personal digital color wheel by taking a transparent background image, copying and pasting it 12 times and changing the colors to make something like the example that you see here. All right, to find our transparent images, we're gonna go to PNG Guru and we're gonna search for whatever we'd like to. I searched for cat, scroll down and find the picture that you like. Be mindful there are ads on here, so please click a picture, not an ad. It'll take you to a page like this. You're gonna to wanna to download, but you have to find the real download button. Not these ads, but you wanna find this green bar that says download PNG. Go ahead and click that and it will download your photo. We are gonna go into Google Drawings and the first thing you wanna do is rename your file with color wheel and your full name. In order to create our color wheel in a circular shape with 12 of the same image, we're gonna draw a dodecagon. So we're gonna go to the shape tool and we're gonna find the dodecagon it has 12 sides. Now, when you try to draw it, it's gonna get smushed up. It's gonna look funny. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna hold down shift. And when we go to draw our dodecagon, if we have shift held down, it will create an even image. Try your best to center it on the page. All right, now it's time to insert our picture. So we're gonna go to insert and image, and we wanna upload it from our computer. We're gonna find the PNG that we downloaded and it's gonna pop up nice and big on the screen. So we wanna shrink that down so it fits kind of perfectly on one side of our 12 sided dodecagon. We're gonna copy and paste and take the next picture and we're gonna adjust it so that it sits nicely on another of the dodecagon sides. Continue to copy and paste until you have your image 12 times and each one should sort of line up with one of the edges of the dodecagon like you see here in my video. All right, so I have 12. It's sort of like a clock going around. Now we'll delete the dodecagon shape by right-clicking and deleting. And we're gonna start to colorize our images. So let's start with the top in the center. And we're gonna click on that picture and we're gonna go to Format Options. And what we wanna do is recolor. So when we click on the picture and we go to recolor, Let's start in the top middle with a nice dark, bold red. And then we're gonna work our way around and recolor each of our image until we have a color wheel. You wanna double check the colors that are across from each other should be complementary, and that you have your red, yellow, and blue in the right area. 